Hey friends, it's Missy again. I'm back today with a new layout for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team. And this week, the design team members are scrap lifting each other. And I chose this layout by Gwen. I love the big star and I love the square photo of the cat and all the fun embellishments around it. And so I'm going to try to recreate this as close as possible, kind of using my own techniques, I guess you could say. And I'm going to use the You Rock collection. This is the newest one from Coco Vanilla. And I'm going to scrap this really pretty picture of our cat. And this is the second layout that I've scrapped about my cat in the last few months. I don't know what took me so long, but it, it was a lot of fun and I really like how this turned out. So I went to my Silhouette Studio uh, cut file collections in, on my computer and I found a star. And so I made it really big and it's got an outline. And so it, I cut it twice on two different pieces of pattern paper. And then I'm also going to use the inside of each one that I cut out, but I just flipped it over and I'm going to use the other side. So this is really two papers, but I'm just using both sides. And I just wanted to create sort of a, a stack of crooked stars. I didn't want them to be perfectly lined up. I wanted you to, to be able to see all the colors. And I'm using that really pretty gray and white background. It's gray and it's got these really cool circle patterns on it. And I didn't want to go with a white background for this. I like the gray because the cat has some gray in his fur. And so I thought it would just be, you know, a little more um, coordinating to use the gray. And plus, I just liked how it looked with the blues and the oranges. So this is kind of the base of the layout. I am going to add some gesso here. I do want to add a little bit of watercolor to it to bring out some more of the blues and so I'm just gonna smudge some white gesso around with my hands like I usually do just to kind of fade out some of the areas and make it look a little worn a little uh, smoky or hazy however you want to call it but you can still see all those colors now the color that I'm using is a shimmers and it's a colorings it's called Heidi Ho blue and it matches that blue color perfectly. Now it looks darker in the bottle, but once you start to, um, you know, smudge it on and then you dab it up so it dries a little bit, it's the perfect blue. And so I'm gonna start to do that a little bit and I'm gonna see what you can see. Yep, I got some on my arm there. Oh well, just wipe it off. My hands stay dirty from scrapbooking, so what's a little blue on my elbow? Who cares, right? Um, so I want to make sure that when the photo goes down, you can still see the blue around it. And it looks like I'm adding a lot right there. But once you put the photo on it, you can see how it totally changes how it looks. And you can just see some of it kind of peeking out. Now, I could have done this without the gesso. But you can kind of see here what the gesso does. It kind of lightens up the background and gives you some white space to work with, sort of. And it helps keep your colors of whatever ink you're using more true because sometimes if you spray like this blue ink onto the gray paper as is it may seep into it right away and darken it or change the tone of the ink and so the gesso kind of prevents that from happening and it kind of uh, toughens up your paper and it just helps it smudge and blend a lot better plus it gives it some texture so lots of pros on why to use gesso so I cut a couple of 3 by 4 cut apart pieces from that pattern paper you just saw. And I'm going to use those as layers as well as some tissue paper and some foam behind my picture to kind of layer it up and to raise it off the page. And I really love this star paper here. I decide last minute, well not last minute, but on spur of the moment I guess you could say, to fussy cut out three of the red hearts. And I didn't even have red in the plan here. I was just going to go with gray, blue, and orange, but I don't know. The red just kind of jumped out at me, and I thought, you know, that would probably be a pretty cool effect, so I'm going to add that in. Off camera, I did a little bit of stitching. I just went around the perimeter of the big blue heart, and I used some light gray thread, so it's very subtle, but I like the way that looks. Now here, I wasn't sure if I'd made a boo-boo or not, but I tried it. I wanted to bring in some of the gray, the darker gray from the picture. So I pulled out the shimmers, I think it's a colorings, it's called Shade of Gray. And it's just that, it's a dark gray. And I wasn't sure if I liked it, they just kind of look dirty now that I did that down there at the bottom left. So I'm going to wind up fixing that. 
not necessarily a mistake, but I don't know. It just kind of muddied it up a little bit, and I wasn't sure if I liked how that looked. So I don't do a lot more of the gray, but I do add some more splatters. So I tried to go over it with the blue, and it just started to get a little too much. And so I just ignore it for a while and start to play with my embellishments. I'm going to use lots of things from the U Rock collection. I'm going to use that rubber charm that says, That's my boy. I'm going to use that chevron piece that is from the die cut ephemera. I'm going to come back in with those fussy cut stars and try to create a visual triangle of red. And just play around with some of the, uh, the die cuts. I am going to pull in some flare. That little piece says you rock. And I'm going to create two little clusters on the bottom there. I'm going to use two flare buttons. And, you know, this was fun for me. If you follow my channel and you know my my typical style of and color scheme that I use, I usually go for girly colors and bright, sunny colors. So this was fun to do something different. Now, the only thing that I use on this page that is not from You Rock are these alpha stickers. And these are from Life is Beautiful. And they match. I wanted something darker there. And so I'm going to mix and match these alphas with that hello piece. And that's from You Rock. And it is the wood veneer. And I discovered this star. I don't know how I missed it the first time I looked at that page. But I'm going to cut it out. I figured, you know, if I'm going to use stars, it might as well be on this layout since I've already got several stars going. And I just didn't know where to put it, but I wanted to use it. So I wind up putting it down there. And it's the perfect piece to cover up the gray ink, ink, ink uh, blob that I didn't really care for. So now you can just see a little bit of it peeking out. And I like how that looks. Because there is some gray in the photo and the, the background is gray. And so... I think the gray goes, plus that rad circle to the bottom left kind of pulls in some gray. But I like the darker gray too, just not as much as I had put down. All right, so I love how this is looking. Definitely different for me, but it's still got my favorite things, my mixed media. And now I'm adding my thread. Just going to add some touches of yellow, make sure everything is glued down. And I pick yellow for that area because, well, actually it's a yellowish orange because I don't have anything in that area in that color. I've got the red, the red star, the blue uh, flare, and then the die cut under it's kind of, a, of basically white. So I thought yellow is the color that I'm missing there. And that's kind of how I determine what color thread to put where. I just try to make sure it's a color that is not already in that, in that cluster or that area. So I'm going to add some blue under rad. And I do add a little bit of foam under that to raise it up. And see, this is the beauty of embellishing. I, I didn't like that dark gray splotch down there. And I was able to cover it up. And you would never even know. So always look for ways to fix mistakes you may make or a, an area that you don't like before you decide to chunk it in the trash because I think we all go through that phase where you make something you're like this is ugly I don't like it just chunk it sometimes you can salvage it so I decide to fussy cut out some of these cute little stars this is from the washi tape pack or uh, strips and cutting washi tape can be tricky but just slow down and you know, if, as long as it's not too intricate and doesn't take too long, it's easy to fussy cut out. So I'm going to use a couple of these stars just because I felt like we needed a few more stars. It was very hard to determine which layout from which design team member I wanted to scrap lift because there were so many gorgeous ones. And I finally just decided on this one because I liked the big star element kind of takes away a lot of the guesswork when you have a big design in the background like that and then I also like the idea of scrapbooking about our cat and his name is Michael Myers and if you want to know the whole story about why in the heck his name is Michael Myers then check back a few videos ago on my channel and I did a guest design layout for the ink road 
and I uh, scrapped about Michael Myers and how he got his name. And this picture was actually taken April of 2012, and he's still here, and I don't even know how old he is. He just sort of adopted himself to us. But, um, yeah, this, he was just lounging around on the patio one day and was posing for me, so I thought, yay, I'm going to practice my camera skills on this cat. So I added in a few phrase stickers, a couple of chipboard stars, and now I'm coming back in with the gray. I didn't think I was going to, but I did, and add a little bit more splatters. And I decided to not do any journaling on this because it's basically just documenting the cat. I mean, he wasn't doing anything spectacular. He was just being lazy, and uh, I just need to do more layouts about him. Or her. Could be a her. That's in the other story. Yeah, I'm going to think it's a he, but yeah, there's a whole debate. No one in our family knows. But he's going to be Michael to me forever, so yeah. I added in some yellow thread up to the upper left corner of the picture. Flare button over to the right. I think I'm getting close to finishing it up. So I want to thank Gwen for making such a fantastic layout about her cat because it really inspired me to make this one. And I love how it turned out. And you know, it's fun to scrap loof people because you get ideas that you wouldn't normally have thought of on your own. Uh, it's the same thing as using a sketch. You know, sometimes you come up with a layout and you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love it. And you would never have thought of it otherwise. But there's the final picture. I love how this turned out. I love the colors. This collection is awesome. And, uh, it was, you know, I thought it was going to be hard for me to use because I'm used to scrapping about girls. But this is my second layout with this, and it's really fun. I love changing it up. I love the blues and the grays. Just very fun to, to do something different. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, make sure you leave me a comment and, and uh, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.